we've used Recycle up to this point to create Rex files of loops and also of samples. Now let me show you how to put all this together creatively in Reason. I've started by loading in a loop that I've chopped up already. I'll preview it here so we can hear it. Okay, and here's another loop. So I'll drop this to track. Listen to these together. I've got a drum machine playing right now. Let me mute that so we can just hear this. So far, so good. Let me uh, create a variation with this, uh, with the randomized feature we talked about earlier. And play these together, let's see what we have. some quick editing here. Okay. Drop this to track. substitute that bar which isn't playing anything really musical this bar here and we'll put this one here let's see how these two work together now Another thing that uh, I've done here is I've taken this loop and run it through the Scream Distortion Unit. And I've put just a little bit of distortion on it just to brighten it up, to thicken it up, give it a little bit more presence. And then I've used the built-in basic EQ here to roll some of the low end off of it and enhance some of the high frequencies in the loop. This is what the loop sounds like without the Scream. And this is with the Scream turned on with a little bit of distortion and the EQ turned on. Okay, now we'll go to the redrum, and remember that we grabbed these one shots earlier. We have an individual kick, snare, and let's grab a hi-hat. and add this to the programming. Turn the hi-hat down a little bit. I'll pitch it up to make it a little bit more on the high end. I find that when I use loops, seldomly do they have enough energy to carry the dominant kick and snare of the track. So one thing that I like to do is I like to add a secondary kick and snare. That way I can control the actual kick and snare pattern and use these more as backbeats, a little bit more thinned out than the main kick and snare. Let's see what this sounds like.
we have a basic drum foundation now based out of all these elements that we use Recycle to create and all the techniques that we've worked on so far. Now let's bring in some musical elements to see what we can do with this. Here's another music sample that I recycled. Let me turn the select via slice so you can hear the slices that I'm triggering. I'm going to play this as an instrument and just see if I can get a little guitar riff going on here. Bear with me while I come up with a pattern. Let's try that again. like those two samples. I'll use these three here to come up with a pattern. Just quantize that, put a little shuffle feel on that. And out of all this that I randomly played, I'm going to use these first two pieces. Let's see what this sounds like. That sounds like a four bar phrase. We'll just copy that again. And move on to our next random sample. Yeah. Yeah. Little vocal sample saying yes. Let's see where we can drop this in. I can already tell I like this pocket here. It's out of the way of the guitar. I'll put one there and I'll place one here. So far so good. I have no idea how these are gonna to come together but that's the fun part of using these recycle files creatively. Let's uh, bring in some of the other Recycle files that we created and see what else we can add. I believe those are on the desktop. We've got the counts. this little one two here Let's bring in something else. 
continue the process. See what this is. Remember that I have the ability to pitch this also. Select it via MIDI first. It sounds like it might be in the key. See what happens if I transpose that in octave higher. We have fine tuning here also. Use the filter to change the sound a little bit. And turn that up a little bit. Some automation that were that was recorded here. I'm just going to remove that. Drop one or two more, and I think we get the idea here. Let's see what pitch this is in. an interesting pocket for a random noise there. Take that and use it just at the beginning of the four bar phrases. I notice that some of this stuff I am not quantizing it just to give it a loose, more of a swagger, more of a feel to it. One, one final adjustment. At the beginning of a, a drum groove and a complete song idea completely based off techniques that you can use using Recycle. So if you use these techniques, you can sit down on a day when you may not feel inspired and come up with something completely unique and creative that'll help keep your creativity flowing.